Malcolm? No updates. No, they're still looking at them. So uh, probably find out more on the plane. Probably not till we, our doctors, is my guess right now. Another game where it's just it's a little details here or there against a really good team. Uh, what do you make of that? Uh, you know, little little details, and you have uh, good hockey teams don't need much. Uh, they took advantage of just about every little one. You saw the shots were fifteen. 15 ish, some, something like that, and we're down five to one. So, uh, testament to their ability to jump on any little mistake and capitalize on it. We jumped on a lot of their mistakes and didn't capitalize, and otherwise, the game would have not got out of hand like that. I think it would have been, uh, you know, there are points in there where, tr where scoring chances were traded, we didn't convert, um, and obviously. Um, we would love to limit some of the chances we gave up. I thought we gave up too many good chances. Uh, we talk a lot about contested chances. Tonight we gave up more uncontested chances than normal for us, even though the shot volume was, was much lower. I thought we gave up more uh, uncontested opportunities for them. What can this group take from this trip? It's, it's two really tough losses and obviously not happy about giving up 20 goals in the last three games. Yeah, I mean it's you're you're never happy about any of that stuff. It's the happy and that doesn't 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 mix. So uh, you know this is a competitive business, and you cannot uh, have your tail between your legs. You get a go, and um, I think our guys. You know the the nice thing, the silver lining in there, the the vibe and feel is our guys take responsibility for their mistakes. They also see right away when a mistake happens how they should have and could how how they're going to correct it what they did wrong they're identifying with that which is which is huge um it's not as it, you know they're not making a mistake and losing confidence they're actually making a mistake and gaining experience we just uh uh you, you know they can't it, it's a process to put all that together but uh you, you know um you don't obviously you don't like to lose but again Lots of uh, good things to see in there, and certainly lots of things to clean up. The uh, that shorthanded goal did, did that seem to take air out of a little bit? Because you guys go into the into the second intermission after you know, Zemmis gets the the goal on the power play. And then yeah, I can't even remember which goal you're talking so about. Turned over at the blue line, and then they go down. Uh, yeah, it was it when Victor passed it back into in the yeah. Dolls' feet. There, that was a tough play. We probably should have went. We played the game in front of them, yeah. and it was an easy transition for them. It was in Dahl's feet and tough one to handle, and uh, we probably should have went uh, behind them, forced them. We had a lot of success when we forced them to go back for pucks and you know put pucks where we could win races and, and had a better chance of winning battles, and that was one we played in front of them, and they can transition, and we knew that going in, and they did there. I think the first one was a was a – you know, a bit of a backbreaker. You, this is a noisy building, and it was just too. The first one for me was too easy, uh, and that, um, you know, again, you're on the road, and you give up an easy one uh, to start. You, you aren't getting that back from the, the adrenaline in the building. That's it's going now. So uh, that that you know did its that impacted uh, opening the game up a little more maybe than it should have. It's also unfortunate to put your goalie in that situation. I mean, Malcolm. Definitely, like like I said, it, it we gave up too many uncontested chances today, more than more than typical for us. I and mean, when we give up chances, uh, we've done a nice job of at least having them contest, stick on puck, and shooting through sticks. Uh, you know, shots pushed to the outside with no second chance. Tonight was was too many real uh, too many real great A's. And um, you know, again, it's it's um, it's. <laughs> It's a, it's a good hockey team over there, obviously. Um, we were able to limit shots more, but we gave up more quality that, uh, that we hadn't been. So, uh, This group, you, know, you can go to the young guys or even some of the more experienced players. There's a lot of, I mean, you've mentioned a lot of good things, but you, there's also a, a lot of mistakes when it comes to just the small details. So as a coach, I mean, how do you approach that? You know, or record you, you, while also emphasizing the good things, but you, yeah. you said it earlier, you don't want to... Yeah, the, 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 the silver lining again, if there's another one in this, is it's it's much easier for me to push guys right now and demand of guys now. I I I 
I believe our guys have more confidence than they actually have had the results. That's a good thing. That means I can drive them harder. They, they feel an identity. They see ways that they can be successful. They immediately identify with the mistake they made. So I think, you know, over the next little bit here is a big growing period for us. And I think it's a, uh, you know, I think we'll see us uh, become, uh, you know, better and better quicker here. Like I said, we've, we've got some <laughs> really good, good components and it's the consistency of the 60 minutes. It's, um, you know, and, and a lot of that, um, um, I, I think our guys are ready for the continual challenge here. They're not losing confidence. They're, they're addressing it more competitive. They're raising and elevating the competitiveness, which is good.